Die McLean Telescoop en Koepel, deel van die Nationale Sterrenwachtcomplex in Observatory Kaapstad, is weer blink gepoets na een degelijke restauratiesessie. Die geschiedkundige baat het vir ongeveer een jaar in onbruik verval, soos die complexe hydraulische vloermechanisme en die koepelijke begin probleme geëet. The McLean Dome was built in uh, 1897 and it's just had routine maintenance done on it, but over the years things deteriorated. And over this last 20 years, there's been big deterioration. The shutters have not been able to open properly, and the hydraulic floor was causing trouble. And we decided to do a big restoration, and the um, shutters have been fixed up, which entailed them being taken off the, off the dome and taken by a really big truck out to the factory at Pardon Island, and major work was done on them there. And also the hydraulic system had to be stripped down completely and seals have been um, replaced. Hoewel die telescoop nie meer vir moderne wetenskap gebruik word nie, kan besoekers aan die sterrewag op die tweede en vierde satere aande van elke maand daar dier loer. Van die sterrewagse geschiedenis word ook in die McLean gebouw saamgevat. This place, if you're interested in science, the scientific milestones that have taken place in this establishment, you're taking photographs here. The first photographs ever taken in the Southern Hemisphere, the first photographs ever taken in South Africa, were taken here at the observatory. So this is the dark room, which was set up to show people um, what it was like um, back in the sort of early 1900s and also up until 1980, this, this room was used. And this is where the glass plates were developed. So um, the astronomers would take their images and save them onto glass plates, whereas nowadays we use computers and they're saved on CCDs. And then we've also just left out um, just some examples over here of the different chemicals that were used for the development process. And um, these are some leftover plates. Unfortunately, these were ruined because they were exposed to light. But it just gives people an idea of the plates that were used and the sizes and things. Kaapse contracteurs was gloehuiverig om hand aan die projekte waag. I actually contacted about six different firms around Cape Town, hydraulic engineers, these firms, and they came here, looked at the system. Nope. <laughs> they weren't interested, and I was getting a bit concerned. These lift firms who work on office bolt locks and skyscrapers, they were just working on the modern day system. And even though they you know, high tech and everything, um, um, they just didn't want to get involved in this Victorian piece of, of engineering. They were very reluctant, you could see that. Intussen is die sterrewagse versoek om die koepel tot nationale monument te verklaar, klaar blijkbaar goed opdreef.